I love. Trust me, I understand how annoying and frustrating it is to go outside with your skin looking damaged and your skin looking bleached, you know, your skin looking destroyed from bleaching products. Most times we might be making use of some skincare products that we don't know that contain some ingredients in them that are harmful to our skin. So therefore, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to repair a bleached skin. And also, I'll be giving you some skincare tips you need to know at the back of your mind because there are certain things you need to know if you're trying to like repair bleach skin and of course sharing with you all skincare routine for both face and body now what does damage or bleach skin actually mean damaged skin simply means a skin that um is suffering from hyperpigmentation a skin that is always feeling dry and flaky um a skin that is always itchy so these are just um this is just what damaged skin actually mean now bleach skin is a skin that was actually damaged from the use of and bleaching products products that are actually um, damaging to the skin now there are so many causes of damaged skin or bleach skin and one is too much exposure to sunlight too much exposure to sunlight can damage the skin another one is over exfoliation over exfoliating your skin can make your skin feel dry and in return it can damage the skin and then another cause of damaged skin or bleached skin is excess use of steroids now when i talk of steroids example is hydroquinone hydroquinone is a very common ingredient that um, people use in bleach products and lightening products now the safest percentage of hydroquinone is two percentage so if you're making use of a skincare product that contains above two percent of hydroquinone in it that product is actually going to damage your skin now a quick disclaimer in the process of repairing your bleached skin you need to know that you have to be very very patient this is something that will actually take time okay it is not something that will happen overnight so you need to be patient and you need consistency with your skincare products and your skincare routine if you're trying to repair your bleached skin and another thing you need to take into consideration another disclaimer is that if you're trying to repair your damaged skin at first your skin is going to look worse okay i'm not going to tell you that your skin will look so beautiful once you start um um, once you start this process of repairing your bleach skin no it will first look worse but with consistent um use of your products with consistency your skin from worse it will actually start becoming better and another thing you need to take into consideration which is very important and that is you need to discontinue the use of that your bleaching product that product that damaged your skin you don't need that product just throw that product away now some of the skincare tips you need to know at the back of your mind when you're trying to repair your damaged skin is one avoid spraying perfumes directly on your skin okay have you ever sprayed perfume on your skin and you notice this um uh, uh, maybe your skin feels like irritated maybe your skin like feels hot or maybe your uh, your skin pains you i don't know if you've experienced this before but me i have actually experienced this before there are sometimes i spray perfume directly on my skin i am not talking of on your cloth so i'm talking of directly on the skin there's the way my skin actually changed the way my skin actually feels so spray perfumes directly on your skin will irritate your skin okay you don't need to spray perfume on your skin and another reason why you don't need to spray perfume directly on your skin is that spraying perfume on your skin will make your skin sensitive to the sunlight this is something that so many people might not know about but yes spraying perfumes directly on the skin can actually increase sun sensitivity now another skincare tip is do not skip your sunscreen if you're trying to repair your damaged skin or your bleach skin your sunscreen should be your best friend and also you need to avoid the use of irritating products like retinol i know that retinol is a very good ingredient that will that actually helps with anti-aging but in the process of preparing your bleach skin you don't need retinol because retinol will irritate your skin retinol is actually irritating and there's this thing that retinol also does to the skin and that is when you start making use of retinol no, retinol tends to make your skin look red like it increases the redness on your skin it increases sensitivity on your skin okay so you don't need retinol in your skincare routine if you're trying to repair your bleached skin and then another tip you need to know is that make use of gentle cleansers and when i say gentle cleansers i mean do not make use of soaps soaps are harsher than cleansers okay what you need is body wash facial cleansers that is what you need you don't need soap okay because soap are harsher and but cleansers are more gentle to the skin so you need products that are actually gentle now some skincare brands that are I actually produce products that are gentle on the skin we have Nivea, we have dove we have CRB. so these are just some skincare brands that actually formulate gentle products on the skin now um when i talk about going for gentle products 
One example of product that you don't need on your skin is the Amlactin Moisturizing Body Lotion. I know that this lotion is very good, it's very moisturizing on the skin, but this lotion contains 12% of lactic acid in it. And lactic acid is an exfoliating um, ingredient. You don't even need any product that is actually exfoliating, okay? So which now brings me to the fact that you don't need to exfoliate your skin, okay? If you're in the process of repairing your bleach or your damaged skin, exfoliating your skin is not necessary because exfoliating your skin will even irritate your skin more your skin is already soft your skin barrier is already damaged and exfoliating the skin will be harsh on the skin and then another skincare tip is that you need to avoid the use of hot showers okay making use of hot showers can strip the moisture on your skin it can make your skin dry you don't need something that will cause dryness to your skin and this drying action that hot showers gives to the skin can in return even cause more damage to your skin barrier the type of um, products you need on your skin are products that will moisturize your skin those are the type of products you need so hot showers is not necessary now coming to the products recommendation and skincare routine firstly there are some good ingredients that are actually very good for the skin they are actually very good for damaged skin and bleached skin and some of these good ingredients we have shea butter shea butter has a lot of skin healing properties and um, shea butter contains vitamin a and vitamin e in it and vitamin a and vitamin e actually helps to promote healthy skin and vitamin a and vitamin e also helps to like protect your skin cells from free radicals now another good ingredient is vitamin e now vitamin e actually helps to protect the delicate skin from damage caused by free radicals and this is due to um, the antioxidant benefits or properties in vitamin e now vitamin e also helps to like keep the skin barrier intact okay so this is another good ingredient that is very beneficial to the skin now another good ingredient is almond oil now almond oil is rich in vitamin e so almond oil on its own is a very good product to repair damage or bleached skin and almond oil also helps to remove dullness from the skin so you know if you're having a bleached skin or a damaged skin barrier your skin will tend to look dull so almond oil is a very good ingredient to get rid of dullness on the skin now another good ingredient is aloe vera now aloe vera has a cooling effect on the skin and it all actually helps to like repair bleached skin and damaged skin barrier now another good ingredient is cocoa butter now cocoa butter is a very nice um, ingredient that actually helps to reduce the appearance of scars it helps to um, with skin imperfection cocoa butter also helps with damaged skin so these are some good ingredients you need to incorporate in your skincare routine if you want to repair your damaged or your bleached skin so for the skincare routine the first step in our skincare routine is cleansing now for facial cleansers some good examples of facial cleansers you can make use of we have the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser now this cleanser is a very good choice for people with normal skin for dry skin and for sensitive skin another option is the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser this one is good for normal skin it is good for oily and acne prone skin and it is also good for combination skin now another facial cleanser is the Vani cream gentle facial cleanser now when it comes to body good examples of body cleansers or body wash you can make use of the first one is the avino skin relief moisturizing body wash another good body wash is the dove deeply nourishing body wash and also we have the dove nourishing secret body wash now this body wash contains um avocado and calendula extracts in it now another good um, body wash you can make use of we have the native um, body wash now this native body wash contains coconut in it it contains vanilla in it and it also contains shea butter in it like i talked about that shea butter is a good ingredient that actually helps to repair bleached skin so this um native body wash has shea butter in it so once you're done cleansing your skin the next step for the face is applying your facial serum now there's something i need to chip in and that is in your skincare routine you don't need products like vitamin c i know vitamin c is a very good product for brightening vitamin c um is so nice for uh, it has anti-inflammatory properties but if you're trying to like repair your damage and your blue skin, you don't need vitamin C. Now, the reason why I said you don't need vitamin C is because vitamin C can, most times people react to vitamin C because vitamin C is more like um, irritating to the skin compared to other serums like hyaluronic serums. We have niacinamide serum. So hyaluronic serum and niacinamide serum are better options to replace like to make use of in replacement of vitamin C serum. So some good examples of serums you can make use of on your face 
one we have the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum this one contains um two percentage of hyaluronic acid and it also contains um vitamin b5 in it so this is a good serum that you can make use of on your face and then another good um serum that you can make use of on your face is the cos rx advanced nail 96 Lucine SS serum. This cos RX serum, it is a very popular serum, and yes, this serum is actually moisturizing and it will actually help you to like repair your damaged skin barrier. Now, there's something you need to know um, if you want to make use of this serum, and that is this serum. Um, the one of the key ingredients in this serum is snail. Okay, so if you're allergic to snail, okay, do not make use of this serum. Um, if you don't know if you're allergic to snail or not, you can actually do a patch test of this product before you apply this product on your skin but if you're not allergic to snow then this serum is actually good for you now another good serum you can make use of and this one is in the form of niacinamide and that is the Thiam vitamin b3 source niacinamide serum okay this is another good serum you can make use of and then this one contains niacinamide of 10 percent in it it also contains abutin of two percent in it and abutin is an antioxidant and it is also a skin brightening ingredient now another thing one thing i love about this Thiam and um, serum i am um, niacinamide serum is that this serum actually helps with face redness and rosacea so this one is good for oily and acne prone skin it is good for combination skin and it is also good for sensitive skin okay so this is a very good um serum you can make use of in form of niacinamide so once you're done applying your serum the next step is applying your moisturizer now for face facial moisturizers you can make use of we have the advanced nail 92 all in one cream okay this is another product from cost rx okay like i talked about their serum which is a good product yeah um all in one cream is also a good product you can make use of now other choices of um, face moisturizer we have the Nivea soft this Nivea soft is very moisturizing to the skin okay this Nivea soft is very good for people with dry skin if you have an oily and an acne prone skin i advise you don't make use of this product on your face because this product is actually very very moisturizing and it has a thick um, texture in it okay so it is good for normal to dry skin now if you want to make use of good face um, cream on your face then you can make use of the CeraVe moisturizing lotion now this CeraVe moisturizing lotion is a lotion that you can actually make use of on your body and on your face now you can also make use of CeraVe moisturizing cream okay this is another good choice you can make use of on your face now this one is also good for um, dry skin and now for body moisturizers good examples of body moisturizers you can make use of like i said before um CeraVe moisturizing lotion you can make use of it on your body also CeraVe moisturizing cream you can also make use of it on your body now another choice is alvino daily moisturizing lotion yes this product is also a nice product you can make use of on your body okay if you want to repair your um damaged skin or your bleached skin and then another product is the eucerin daily hydration lotion now this one contains an spf of 15 in it and then another product is the eucerin advanced repair lotion okay so there are other lotions that you can also make use of but what you need to just take into consideration is if you're going for lotions do not make use of lotions that like um contains exfoliating ingredients ingredients like ahas bhas salicylic acid um lactic acid no you don't need all those type of lotions so you can also make use of other lotions maybe i did not mention them in this video and you know that it's a good lotion you can also make use of it now another step in your skincare routine is making use of treatment now when i say treatments there are some products that are very good for the skin like i talked about key ingredients for um repairing damaged skin so the first one is vaseline okay this vaseline product is a very nice product it is moisturizing it will actually help you to like repair your uh, your damaged skin barrier and then another product is vitamin e oil now this vitamin e oil it also comes in the form of capsule so you can also make use of this vitamin e oil in the form of capsule if you buy it in the form of capsule what you just have to do is to like pop the capsule open and then press out the um the oil inside the capsule and then apply it on your skin or that is just what you need to do so vitamin e is also a very good product that you need to make use of on your skin now another good product is aloe vera okay you can make use of aloe vera gel if aloe vera is actually soothing like i talked about aloe vera before and then another one is for me yes shea butter it's also a very good product you can make use of it to help you to like repair your damaged skin barrier it will help you to like repair your bleached skin it is moisturizing to the skin and it will not make your skin sensitive even this vitamin e oil actually does not make the skin 
sensitive. Now, another good product um, in form of treatment you can make use of is the almond oil. Okay, almond oil is very, very good for the skin. Almond oil actually helps with skin dullness. Like I talked about almond oil before. Now, some good examples of almond oil you can use, and this is in form of body oil. The first one is the Dr. T Sweet Almond Oil. Now, that now brings me to the next step in our skincare routine, which is applying body oil. So, you need body oil in your skincare routine. You need products that will help you to moisturize your skin. You need products that will help you to like glow your skin. If you need products that will moisturize and glow your skin, then body oil is very important. So, like I said, the first option is Dr. Tew Sweet Almond Oil. So, this one contains almond oil as one of the key ingredients in this product. And then another one is Dr. T's Lavender Essential Oil. Now, this Dr. T's Lavender Essential Oil also contains almond oil in it. Like almond oil is one of the key ingredients that were, that were used in manufacturing this um, product. Now, another good almond oil you can use is the now sweet almond oil okay so this is another lovely product that you can make use of and then we also have the palma skin therapy oil yes this product here is a very nice product palma is a very nice product that will actually help you to like um repair your damaged skin your bleached skin now when it comes to face oil some good face oil you can make use of and one that i really love is the bio oil yes bio oil is a nice product that actually helps with damaged skin it helps with bleached skin so that um, bio oil is a nice oil that you can make use of on your face and of course bio oil can also be used on the body and then another oil you can also use on your face we have the dr t sweet almond oil like i said that dr t sweet almond oil can be used on the body so yes that product can be used on the face and also on the body and it will not irritate your skin okay because it contains natural ingredients okay so these are just some body oil you can use on your face and then on your body now the next step in our skincare routine is applying your sunscreen like i said before that you should not keep your sunscreen in your skincare routine so there are a lot of um, sunscreens that you can make use of but some good examples of sunscreens you can make use of one we have the bondy sands daily moisturizing face um, this one contains an SPF of 50 in it. Now, when you're picking sunscreens to make use of, try and go for sunscreens that has at least an SPF of 50 in it. Now, the reason why I said um, SPF of 50 in it is because you need products that will actually help. You need something that will protect your skin from the sun. Okay? That is what you need. So, I'm going for products that contains higher percentage of um, sunscreen SPF in it. It is more beneficial to the skin. So, the first sunscreen is the Bondi sunscreen with SPF of 50 plus in it. Now, this sunscreen is fragrance-free. This sunscreen is moisturizing and hydrating to the skin. This sunscreen is very good for sensitive skin. And the two main ingredients that are used in manufacturing this sunscreen, we have aloe vera and we also have vitamin E. Like I talked about, that aloe vera and vitamin E is good for repairing bleached and damaged skin. Now, this sunscreen is also lightweight and it doesn't sting the eyes and it will also not clog your pores. So, which means it is also good for oily and acne-prone Skin. Now, the second sunscreen on my list is the Beauty of Josine sunscreen. Now, this one contains an SPF of 50 plus in it and PA4 plus. So, this sunscreen is also fragrance free. This sunscreen has a creamy texture and it is also very moisturizing. Now, this sunscreen um, contains 30% of rice extract in it and it also contains antioxidants. And one of the antioxidants that is found in this sunscreen is niacinamide like i said that niacinamide is a very good product that will help you to like repair your damaged skin barrier niacinamide will help you to like repair your bleached skin now this sunscreen is good for all skin types that is if you have oily skin acne prone skin sensitive skin dry skin and combination skin you can make use of this beauty of Josine sunscreen now another good sunscreen you can also make use of is the black girl sunscreen kids now this one contains an spf of 50 in it now this sunscreen is fragrance free okay and this sunscreen is very moisturizing it has a thick it, this sunscreen has a thick texture okay and it is actually very moisturizing and this is also something i need to point out and that is this sunscreen is good for dry skin. So if you have an oily skin, acne prone skin, this sunscreen is not like a good choice for you, okay? This one is best for people that has dry skin. And the reason why is because this sunscreen is very thick and of course it is very moisturizing to the skin. But if you're looking for good sunscreens that you can make use of, let's say you have an oily and an acne prone skin and sunscreen that will not leave a white cast on your face. I have actually filmed a video where I talked about five good sunscreens for oily skin and acne prone skin. So this is the link of that video. So you can follow this link over here to check out that video. So love, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.